Everyone has a story. And this story has begun a long time ago in a land far, far away, Ukraine. My grandma's old recipe, sweet buns with cherry filling. To begin our story today, we will start with making cherry filling first. 600 grams of sour cherries, 90 grams of starch, 180 grams of sugar, and 60 grams of lemon juice or apple cider vinegar if you're using sweet cherries. Add apple cider vinegar or lemon juice if you're using sweet cherries. Add half of the sugar, about 90 grams, and let it sit for an hour to release juices. An hour later, add starch and remaining sugar. Mix it and bring it to boil. Stir it occasionally to make sure it doesn't get clumpy. When it started boiling, reduce heat and simmer on low until it's cooked. It's cooked when color turns clear and the mixture has become substantially thicker. Transfer it into a bowl and set it aside to cool while we prepare our dough. For our dough, we will need 600 grams of sifted all-purpose flour, 20 grams of yeast, 75 grams of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, 260 grams of warm milk, 40 grams of butter, 40 grams of any cooking oil, two eggs minus one egg yolk that we will save for later for egg wash. In a bowl, mix milk, yeast, half a tablespoon of sugar, and two tablespoons of flour. Let it sit for 5-10 minutes to activate yeast. When yeast is activated, add the remaining ingredients. Rest of the sugar, vanilla extract. Set aside one yolk for later, add one egg and one egg white. Add butter and salt. and the remaining flour, a little bit at a time. Mix it all together first with a spoon, then with your hand. Once everything is all combined, add one tablespoon of oil and knead it a little more. Add another tablespoon of oil on your table and knead your dough for another minute or two. Take a plastic bag, make sure it has no holes. Oil it inside and oil your dough.
Place dough in the oil bag, remove air and tie it at the very end of it. To make sure butter won't get to our dough, double bag it. Add warm water of about 30-35 Celsius to a large pot. Place your dough in that water and cover it with a lid. Let it sit or swim in our case for about 40 minutes to an hour. This fast rising dough is nicknamed Diver and now you can see why. Here we are 40 minutes later. Remove your dough, pet dry bag so you don't get any water on your dough later on. Take the dough out of the bag and place it on the oil table. Roll your dough to remove air pockets and divide into 50 to 60 grams pieces. Today let's do 50 grams each. We will have 20 buns. Tuck sides under, roll it into bowl and place it on the oil table. And again, tuck sides under and roll it into bowl place it on the oil table. Here we are, the last one finally. Roll it and place it on the oil table. Lightly cover them with oil, then cover with a plastic wrap and let them rest for the next 10 minutes. Meanwhile, prepare your baking sheet. Line it with a foil and lightly grease it with an oil. Oil your hands, rolling pin and a table. Roll out each bowl into a round pancake 12 to 50 centimeters in diameter. Add a generous tablespoon of filling. Bring opposite sides together and pinch your dough to make a seam. Fold corners towards center. Pull the seam slightly toward yourself and tuck it under. Tucking seam under will prevent filling from leaking out during baking. Place it on the baking sheet. After the next one.
Cover buns with a plastic wrap and let them rest for the next 30 minutes. After half an hour, begin preheating your oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 390 Fahrenheit and let's make that egg wash. For a medium sized egg yolk, you will need about a tablespoon and a half of water. Mix it all well together and it's ready. Apply egg wash and let it set for about 5-7 minutes until your oven is preheated and ready to go. After egg wash has set for 5-7 minutes, bake your buns at 200 Celsius or 390 Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. When they're done, transfer to a cooling rack and let them cool. Who thought buns could make you so happy? Filled with warm memories of carefree, barefooted Ukrainian summers of long time ago. There is a bit of a bun in all of us. Thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe, it's absolutely free. Until next time at Rye Avenue.